sound how sound travels we know that for every sound there has to be some vibration when we hit a drum to make sound we get the membrane vibrating as the membrane vibrates the air around it starts vibrating too the air touching this air then starts to vibrate as this happens the sound begins to spread that too in different directions that is how sound travels from the source of sound and how did it travel through air when you hear the sound of the teacher talking what is the sound traveling through it is traveling through air can sound travel through anything else let us see have you seen a string telephone you may have played telephone with it when you were little if you haven't you can do it now here's how to make one real quick you need two paper cups a piece of string something sharp like a compass and a friend to conduct the experiment with punch holes at the base of the paper cups then pass one end of the string through it and tie it there do the same to the other side then give one cup to a friend and hold the other one in your hand make sure the string is straight and taut one friend talks into the paper cup and the other can use his side of the phone to listen you can reverse the rules too isn't it amazing and you can hear things quite clearly too how does the string telephone work what happens is that when you talk into the cup the cup starts vibrating you know what a vibration is it's the back and forth motion of the object well so the cup starts vibrating and the string is touching the cup so the string begins to vibrate as well the vibrations in the string travel all the way to the other side and the base of the cup that is touching the string begins to vibrate then the air touching the cup vibrates these vibrations go up to our ear and we can hear the sound the string has to be stretched and taut for the string phone to work if it is loose and slack the vibrations cannot travel across the string and the telephone will not work do you want to hear a better sound wet the string a bit the sound will be even clearer what will happen if the string breaks the phone will not work now because the vibrations cannot travel to the other side of the phone in fact even if you tie the two snipped ends of the string in a knot the phone still won't work as the vibrations cannot travel across the knot so far we have seen sound travel through air and a string can sound travel through solids like a piece of wood let's find out hit a wooden desk like this you can hear the sound now tap the desk really soft you probably can't hear the sound but if you put your ear to the desk and then hit it softly 
you can hear the sound clearly so sound can travel through a solid object like wood and in fact we heard the sound through wood better than we heard it through air why has the man put his ear to the railway track to check if there is a train coming normally you can hear the train coming through the air but sound travels better and faster through solids so by listening through the tracks the man can get a much more advanced warning of the approaching train the only thing left to check is if sound can travel through liquid for this experiment we need a long balloon and some water fill the balloon with air and hold one end close to your ear scratch the other end on the opposite side of the balloon and try to listen to the noise now fill the balloon with water again hold it up to your ear and scratch the other end on the opposite side of the balloon and try to listen to the noise in which case do you hear the noise better we hear a clearer sound with the balloon filled with water what does this mean it means sound can travel through water too it does travel through liquid and we heard the sound through water better than we heard the sound through air this is how whales and dolphins communicate under water so sound can travel through solids liquids and gases the substance through which sound travels is called a medium a medium is the substance through which sound travels and sound needs a medium to travel if there is no medium sound cannot travel sound needs something to travel through if there is nothing for example if there is vacuum sound cannot travel through it here is an experiment that checks if sound can travel through vacuum you need a battery operated buzzer or anything that can make a continuous sound on its own you also need something like a bell jar it's a jar which has an opening from which we can suck out the air inside you also need a vacuum pump to suck out the air inside the jar so that we can create a vacuum there so we switch on the buzzer and put the jar upside down on the buzzer observe that you can hear the sound of the buzzer clearly now we start pumping out the air and as we pump out the air the volume of sound goes on reducing let us see how this happens take an electrical bell and an airtight bell jar the bell is suspended inside the airtight bell jar first press the switch for the bell and you will be able to hear the bell clearly the bell jar is connected to a vacuum pump as shown now start to pump the air out of the jar gradually you will hear the sound becoming fainter although the same current is passing to the electric bell soon you will notice the less air is left inside the bell jar the less the sound becomes if the air is removed completely you won't be able to hear any sound from this experiment we can understand that sound cannot travel through vacuum 
Is the buzzer ringing softly? No, it's the same buzzer. It is actually ringing as loud, but we don't hear it so well because there is less air inside. Let's pump out some more air. As we pump out even more air, the volume gets lower and lower. That is because sound needs air to travel through. As air reduces, the medium for sound to travel through decreases and so the sound that we hear decreases. If we remove the vacuum pump, the air rushes back in and sound gets a medium to travel through. So we hear the buzzer ringing loudly again. Through this experiment, we have proved that sounds need a medium to travel. What did we just learn? Sound can travel through solids, liquids and gases. The substance through which sound travels is a medium. Sounds need a medium to travel. Sound cannot travel through vacuum. Sound travels through a substance. The substance that sound travels through is known as a medium. Sound travels faster if the particles in a substance are more closely packed. So, sound travels fastest in solids and slowest in liquids. The speed of sound in air is about 340 meters per second. When the temperature of air increases, what do you think will happen to the speed of sound? When the temperature increases, the particles go away from each other. So, there are lesser particles of air in that area. Sound travels faster if the particles in a substance are more closely packed. So, sound travels slower. The speed of sound decreases. When the temperature of air decreases, what do you think will happen to the speed of sound? When the temperature decreases, the particles come closer to each other. So, there are more particles of air in that area. Sound travels faster if the particles in a substance are more closely packed. So, sound travels faster. The speed of sound increases. Sound travels faster if the particles in a substance are more closely packed. In solids, liquids and gases, where are the particles most closely packed? In solids. So, sound travels fastest in solids. Sound travels fastest in solids. Sound travels faster in liquids than in gases. Sound travels slowest in gases. Why can sound not travel in vacuum? Because in vacuum, there are no particles at all. So, there is nothing to vibrate. If there are no vibrating particles, sound cannot travel at all. What did we just learn? Sound travels faster through a medium if the particles are more closely packed. For this reason, sound travels fastest through solids. Sound travels faster through liquids than it does through gases. Sound cannot travel through vacuum as there are no particles to vibrate and pass it on. The speed of sound increases when the temperature of air decreases. The speed of sound decreases when the temperature of air increases.